the time. So it was like, so then he was, we, I agree with you though. A lot of shit was promised. We were supposed to be in first class. Yeah, we were yeah. supposed to be all, and it just didn't happen a, a lot so of times. On, so on the flight home, and how long is that flight? 16 hours? 17, 17 hours. 17 hours, okay. We get to the airport and I get coach middle seat. Uh-oh. Oh, middle seat. For 17 hours. He has a um, And I have panics. panic attacks. So I there's just no way. I was like, I'm, I guess I'm going to live here in uh, <laughs> Beirut. You know what I mean? But there's another little part to the story. Let me have to step in that you okay, forget. Okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> This I is forget. the part you forget. Mm-hmm. Bobby decides to pay the three thousand dollars to upgrade himself to first class. Of course he does. He does okay. it still. So he he pays the money and he walks to first class like this. See ya, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and then the credit card was denied. <laughs> so he had to come back. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> Bobby. Oh yeah. <laughs> He had to come back with his tail between oh, his legs oh, yeah, after oh, he yeah. already was like, you know, he, he had that moment of like, see ya! Bobby Lee, victory! You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah, did yeah. the dismount into front. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I back. remember that. And then I came back. You came back. And, and I was, was like, having a panic. He was crushed. And Eric Griffin goes, listen, man, I have an aisle. You can have my aisle. I'll sit in the middle. Wow. See, 17 hours. As soon as he said, I'm about to get emotional. As soon as he said that, that's it. Best friends forever. Not uh, just he is a life guy. You know what I mean? And like, by the way, <laughs> even after him being a complete dickhead, but I saw that this was gonna be a thing for him, and I was like, it still right. is a thing because you know? um, I was uh, like, oh, it's cool. A but. few months ago, um, his travel agent made the mistake, and he got the same seat, the center, um, a middle seat. And he basically said, I'm going to cancel the whole gig. Yeah, I'm with you on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to cancel the whole fucking gig. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to get off the fucking plane right now through an absolute shit fit. I mean, I'm going to tell you why, though, baby. Okay? It's this. Okay? <laughs> well, you, have, you have panics. You have no, it's not that. No, no, no. no it's not no, that. It's not I'm that. with you. It's, okay. it's the principle of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna, I want to be honest with you, man. New York really fucked me up. That's why I'm a little weird right now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be real with it. I didn't have some good shows in New York. What do you consider not a good show? Because I've seen you say- There was nine people in my third show. I wasn't going to say anything because I'm embarrassed by it. I think that we can talk but I about to this. Confront, it's a reality, I right? have to confront my reality. Look, okay? it was a 12.30 show, midnight. It doesn't matter. What are all the details, though? So What are the details, though? So That's one of my characters. Thank you. So can I just say this? Okay, is is that I know that my ticket numbers since January have been amazing. You've sold out every show. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. But, dude, it's like Saturday night, New York, 12.30, there was nine people. And then I walk up to the manager and I go, hey, do I have to do 45 minutes? You still have to do a show? Yeah. I go, can we cancel it? No. Contractually, though, I, I, I get that because those people did pay $22 to see you. So, of course, that's... They were all Tiger it. Belly fans. Thank God. Thank, that's good. You know what I mean? That's good. And, um, and without them, obviously, there'd be no show. So, my, I thank you for coming out. But, dude, it was really humbling. Man. My question is... You know, in anticipation, if let's say I'm like a club owner and I see that, oh, only nine people have bought tickets for a 1230 show. Wouldn't I just cancel that show, inform those nine people, but that there's an earlier show with still nine seats available? Oh, push Shut down the club yeah. early and, you know, save money on electricity, on not paying, you know, They have shows employees. downstairs, that's why. I see, so they still right, have so to the, technically... Right, so the thing's open, right, already, you yeah. know, and it's also, it's like, you know, that's the comedy, that's what I'm going to say is that it's comedy, it's life, and it's New York. There's a lot of competition, and it's not that. It's just that, like, <laughs> it's just that, like, oh, um, <laughs> it's just like, you know, I have 20 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've done this game, you know, I just, and I just need a little reprieve. You know, it's just like every year, it's like audition not getting it this that and then your friends become you know and then it's like you just want a little reprieve <laughs> reprieve you just want a little like a year where you're just kind of like you know you know i'm fine you know <laughs> but every year is a fucking battle it's like every day it's a battle you know and it's like other oh, i'm just gonna say it it's like uh, you know what bobby what man up <laughs> <laughs> Cloud, it's sniper tonight. What? Wow. Man up, baby. Sack the fuck up. 
Oh, you're right. Quit your bitching. You make good right. money. You have a roof over your head. You, roof, roof, roof. <laughs> you have me. You have friends. You have Tiger Belly. You have your three cats. We're good. We get fed. All right. Life is all right. Yeah. I wasn't really crying by the why. By the way. Okay. I was mm-hmm. just doing a fake cry. It's I called know. acting. You know? I was I called know. acting, guys. Yeah. Showcasing my abilities, you know? <laughs> yeah. I want to read this to you. I it's said this. One, my dear friend... And comedy collaborator, Whoa. Gilbert Galone, Galone. <laughs> is trying to get an audition for Mad TV. I wouldn't ask if I didn't think he was the greatest thing since me. He's Filipino and young and super talented. He's represented by Principal Entertainment, L.A. Matt Burkle. Shout also, out to Matt. also, I'd love to, to get involved any way I can with the show. Thanks. Then he goes. It is arranged, Bobby. Thank you. Right? So that's what I said. Mm. All right? If you go in there tomorrow and shit the bed, that goes down the toilet. Can I say so that? I, I don't care Can if I you're say- scared. I don't no, care no, no, if no. you guys think that I'm being fucked up right now no. by bringing it up. Look at me right now. Mm. I want you to fucking get the job. All right? He will. So man up, step into it, mm-hmm. and get this fucking job. Can I say Don't this? be scared. I'm not, I'm trying, Look I at me get, right now. I say this. Yeah. I'm saying because I know you hate one. See, you're already Go smiling. Ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Are you t- crying right now? <laughs> yeah, you, you look like you're about I'm to cry. I'm about to cry. Cry because I might hug you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, seriously, but thank you. <laughs> no, seriously. Please don't fuck. <laughs> well, it got close. Uh, it got close. It got close, right? Yeah, it got close. But that's a- what I fucking said. But no, I will always yeah, rep- I will yeah, always my represent, pride. I will always represent I lo- you. I probably. believe you. I believe in you. I did it. Nice. And the whole weekend was great. I, I got to know Tom Segura really well. And let me say my fucking opinion about Tom Segura. He is a 10. And I'm about to cry. Oh. He's a good dude. His special is my favorite of the year. Was yeah. it last year? He's a good dude. My and I'm another fucking, I'm going to tell you another person, right? W- Wally Wong. <laughs> what? W- Wally Wong? Or no, Ali, Ali Wong. Wong. <laughs> Ali Wong? Yeah. I'm about to cry. Fucking good girl, man. You guys go way back, too. We go way back. You know, but um, to see how much she has grown mm-hmm. is really just an amazing thing to see. And I love Asian comedy, as you know. That fan, number one, one of my faves. Was Dynamic. He was he there? No. Oh, okay. Well, nope. aren't you the only comic that didn't have a car to pick you up to at, from the airport? Yeah. yeah. What? So I show up <laughs> and there's, I have to take now a cab. A You're yellow cap, and everyone has limos. Jesus. Right? And this is why I, I love Tom. I'm outside, and he could have, should have, because, you know, first class, they leave the flight. I'm the last seat. So as soon as I get off the flight, they're gone. And there's nobody, which I wanted. Yeah. So I'm slowly getting through. I go outside. Tom Segura waited for me. He goes, I don't think you have a ride, do you? I go, no. <laughs> he goes, Accent. No, that's what I heard. <laughs> and I said, no. Yeah, and he goes, I'll give you a ride. Mm. And he gave me a ride. And the, um, he did that a couple times, man. And then um, and then after Austin, Saturday night, they invited me to dinner. It was me, Ali, Tom Segura, and uh, an agent, and um, Jermaine Fowler. I love him, too. You know Jermaine mm-hmm. Fowler? Mm-hmm. I haven't yes. seen his stuff. Yeah. Yes. He's a skinny little. He's not that skinny. Yeah, he's very skinny. He's kind of handsome. He's very handsome. Black guy. Yeah, yeah. Kind of big hair. Yeah, he's young. Mm-hmm. He just got on a show. I don't know what it was, but he, him, and I shared a room. All our, our dressing room was just me and. Oh, Jimmy I thought you meant shared hotel room. Hotel room. room. Like, no, 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 no. There's no way. You're that poor. <laughs> what happened, Bobby? There's no way. There's no way. Like, damn, your finances and, are. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> really I just want to say that I want to say that the whole thing was great, and I just anyone listening right now, if you're if you like Tom Segura. Like him more. Yeah, I feel. I'm sorry. You know, I'm. I don't know why I'm so confrontational today. He, his, his, his masculinity and his. Um, it's threatening. It is threatening it's to threatening me. I know you're acting so, like a wild. I know, person. and I, and I, I feel like, I was in a corner, and I have nothing. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm defending other things. I, I, you know what? In a zombie apocalypse, let's just be friends and let's try to survive. You can be the leader if you okay. want to. Okay. All right. All right. We'll shake uh, okay, on that. Zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Ever you can be the leader. Okay. I don't give a fuck, right. but. <laughs> um, there's only room for one person in the event I'm gonna be in. <laughs> yeah, don't don't laugh because you're gonna be the 
you're gonna be a zombie for sure. No, uh, probably. You're weak. <laughs> but I, you're weak on every level, my friend. His stand up is pretty good. I can only kick from a distance. Yeah. I just no. Nah. <laughs> okay, you're a zombie. <laughs> and also, can I say this? Mm. I wouldn't even kill you if you were a zombie. Why? I'll chop your arms off and you'd be like one of those things. Like, like, uh, uh, like Michelle. Like Michelle. Yeah, 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 like Michelle. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I do, yeah. wait, I'd be your pet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. That's weird, man. Yeah. Don't, would... don't worry, I wouldn't let Bobby do that to you. And that's I'm why I'll, follow his, I'll drop into his there group. There you go. There you go. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, all right let's, let's do a vote. Let's do a vote. Let's do a fucking vote. All right, in a zombie apocalypse, all right? And cameraman, I'm, there's going to be no hostility towards you, all right? But me and Eric have two different fucking survival teams. Can you right? talk about like your so yeah. At, raise your hand. Who's gonna be with Eric? Well, raise give us your a hand. little bit of like what's like going what's, on. What's, in the, yeah. in the, you have to sell yourself. Sell your first. tribe. All right, I'm gonna sell the situation. Like, okay? okay, here's with the currency. What the deal is, yeah. Okay, um, where we're at, we live on a street right here. So in mm. the building that we're in is where I'm in. Okay, and the building right across the street is where Eric is. Everything else is zombified. Okay, all right. You have to make a choice who you're gonna be with. Clan, you're gonna clan with, mm. all right. So raise your hand, Eric. Be real. What, am I counted? Okay, yeah, everyone. Go ahead, babe. Be real. <laughs> She's gotta stick with her man, dude. All right, no. all right. So, oh. so these two guys. So the <laughs> two right cameramen, there. the two cameramen, and you. Yeah. All right, all right. Who's As, gonna be with me? You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. If we're both gonna die, I'm gonna die with my childhood star <laughs> that I watch on TV. And you know what? Can I just say something right now? Yeah. You're forever my friend for a life. Yes! In fact, you know what, dude? You just went up so high with me. Oh. You really, you, 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 Fuck no, it. No, 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 you didn't, you didn't abandon me. <laughs> you're really, you're a real friend. I can't tell if he's crying or. He's not crying. You're a real friend. Fuck all you. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking Jew bastard. You fuck. <laughs> fucking go in there. He'll oh. fuck you. Oh. Anyway. God, that really meant a lot to me. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. Yeah. You want a dinner tonight? I'll pay yeah, whatever. I'll, whatever I'll you want. Whatever you want. You know? <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm sorry, babe. Am I going out of control right now? Out of control. I love it. Is it too much? No. no. Should I take it a level down or what? I don't know. It's up to you. You're the captain of the ship. I am the captain of the ship. Let me say something right now, okay? Let me say something right now. Um, I believe that and let's go back to Pastor Gill. Let's mm -hmm. get spiritual again. I believe that everything happens for a reason. There is no coincidences. We're together here for mm -hmm. a reason. We were all meant to be here at this very moment. And I heard your point of view. I heard how you feel. Who? No, oh. these guys. These oh, cameramen. about the, the we're still at that thing. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. I want to get spiritual. Let's get oh. let's okay. get down to the real Braxton Taxes. Okay. Braxton Taxes. All right. <clears throat> I, we're here, we're in this moment, and you just showed me your true self, you two especially, <laughs> and I hear you, and I accept it, but let me say something right now, that is why we can never, <laughs> we can never be close, okay, and that is the reason why Polly treated you like shit. <laughs> For three fucking years. And that's it? For the year? Um, until, yeah, for the year, yes. You do a New Year's show anywhere? No, a comedy store, but that's it. Oh. We're going to be taking a break, too, um, over the holidays um, for two weeks. Yeah, I mean... And then yeah. we'll resume in the new year. Yeah. We'll have some... But I want to say this, guys. though, and I, and, and I want you to really listen to me, everyone listening. I truly believe that this podcast reinvented my life. I'm about to cry. You are crying. It it connected me to the people that are real for fans of mine. And um, it's just been an unbelievable adventure. You know? I'm sorry, I couldn't hold my sneeze. That's he's, the he's rudest fucking thing. Geez, this man is crying. You know what, bitch? I, fuck you. This man is crying. I'm done. I'm out. And she fuck this and, shit. And she man. dapped. Oh she God, dapped I'm in the so middle. Sorry. I couldn't hold it. I made a mistake. <laughs> These fans have changed my. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. <sighs> Daddy, I started that real quick. But were your parents at your. When you were delivering, were they there? Uh, No, they weren't. I just wanted Bart in there. 
I didn't know what I didn't. Well, they were in the hospital. They weren't even in the building. Uh, they no, they weren't because it was like at four in the morning. Like uh, you, you can't really time it. You can't be yeah. like, hey, at you like can't seven time o'clock. It? I'm gonna pop yeah. this shit at out. Seven o'clock. You better do be yours there. at night. Not, not in morning. the morning. What if it's like? I, I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. He'll make sure he gets the job in a different yeah, state. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll get. I'll hire somebody. I'll give you money. I'll give you hundred bucks. I'll look alike. Gilbert. That actually might be better for me because you get frazzled and freaked out, and it might your energy might transfer over onto me. I don't know if I'm going to be a good dad. Oh, <laughs> I shit my will. pants You're on set. you awesome. <laughs> because of this fucking guy. I, I've been trying to test my uh, heart. Why oh, are you bad with him? No, so this, this is their this dog is, right here. We got to introduce. So embarrassing. <laughs> but then bad. that's when I knew that he was playful. But here's when I knew that I really liked him and that he was a good guy. Is, is that apparently we were supposed to arrange our own rides from the airport. We were in Austin. Yeah. To the hotel. Right. And everyone got off the plane, first class. You know, you, when your friends are in first class and you're in coach, you would think that they would wait for you to deplane. Wasn't Allie on the flight too? Yeah. yeah. Right? No one did. Straight into their limos? They went right into their limos that they, <laughs> their people set up. I don't have a limo. A nothing, I don't know how I'm going to. I don't even know where I'm staying. All right? <laughs> so I'm like walking. I don't see anybody. And I walk outside and I see Tom standing there with his limo driver and he says I just assume that you don't have a ride <laughs> <laughs> and I go correct uh, correct I'll give you a ride to the hotel who fuck I don't know who the f I'm about to cry who the fuck does that <laughs> I kind of I mean no let me get who does that <laughs> I mean not only we're not war buddies mm -mm. we weren't nom together you know, I wish I was you know, but um, I don't know him that much. I don't know him. And he does that. That's fucking dope, bro. Like I, I would probably hurt somebody for you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you're welcome, I'm man. A wonderful guy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I thought I remembered though? What? Tell me if I'm wrong about this. Yeah, I did make the assumption you didn't have the car, and I waited. Yeah. Didn't you come down and go like, oh, like where's my car? Didn't oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. was like, is my guy here? And <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, did you book a guy? And yeah, he was yeah. like, no. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that you don't have a guy. Oh, I, I, I mean, a, a normal comedian would have fired his fucking people for that. No, dude. They just, you know. It, no, it's, no, they, they, they hung me out to dry. And then we had a good talk on the way. That I know. You know what? I, I do, but can I just say something? Mm -hmm. I want to say this, baby, that um, there's a lot of things I would have never done without you. And I'm glad I did those things. Good. It's okay. beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, what else? What did we do? All, all, like dolphin swimming. We haven't done dolphins. Remember that one time you made me swim out there and I got stung by a thousand jellyfish? In the oh, future. Oh, that's right. Do you yeah, think yeah. they'll date other Koreans? Or like, what do you think will happen next? Yeah. What's your next boyfriend if we break up? <laughs> uh, well, let me think about this. Um, I have basically dated every single race. Really? But I haven't done a New Yorker Indian guy. And I've been eyeballing them lately. Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> like... Off the boat, Indian. That, no, oh. a New York, an Indian raised in New York. Oh, I got you. Not okay. an LA Indian. So his Indian. parents, let's say, are Indian, but he's yeah. raised in New York. But not. I'm not saying Aziz, <laughs> but like yeah. you know, just another but that flavor, kind of, right? Uh, the East Coast, yeah. Indian. No, go for it. Maybe. I've never done that. I mean, I'm not. You know, just I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, you asked me the out, question. Go ahead. I mean, I think ask me, dude. Ask me. No, no. Well, you're back to white chicks. I know. No, no, no. You're Ask done me. with Asian chicks. No, be real. Ask me. Okay, Bobby, what's next? Nothing. You're done? I really believe that. Oh, well, then I'm fucking done too, bro. You asked me the question. Listen, I, 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 <laughs> I truly believe that without her, it's, I can't. There's nothing. Yeah. This there's, would no, be, there's no East Coast Indian this would be, bitch. <laughs> this would be the most amazing time for you to leave him. Like right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> As he's trying. like, this is, you mean Fuck everything. And you're like, I just want to do it. I yeah. want to fuck in New York. I thought you were giving me an opening with that question. I just went <laughs> no, with it. No, no, no opening, bitch. <laughs> no, I honestly believe if she something happened to her. Yeah. Or, you know, she laughed. I honestly, it would take me a decade. I think because no, we're I, fully attached at the hip. I'll and I'm tell sure you, you and your I'll, wife no, are. it's not even that. It's just that I just I, to to get to know somebody again and to know oh, their be horrible uh, yeah. all the little horrible. things. But and also, this and that. like, oh, we're not a super God. like lovey dovey kind of like showy yeah, kind of couple. Yeah. 
Um, and I really like that. I think previously I dated guys that were just really like mushy and sweet and they were nice Super people. Super codependent. But and... fucking just like every text, good morning, sweet. I just fucking my vagina just turned to dust every morning, you know? Like when we, we have sex, she just rolls over. I, there's yeah. no, there's no. <laughs> Don't make guy make me sound like a no, fucking robot. No, but she just rolls over and just like dead eyes. No, I look at you. Like, no, I look at you. I look, like, I look you know deeply I mean? into like, his that eyes. That was disgusting. Yeah. No, that's not yeah, true. Yeah, and um, I love it. Yeah, you do love it. Yeah, I don't have to get her a towel or nothing. Mm-mm. But anyway, hey, good love to you. see you. I love you. Love Back you, to the life warrior. So you're a life warrior. <laughs> so I'm a life warrior. So we did three things. Three things. Okay, each one very difficult. The for, first place mm. we go to. First of all, we're we're with a guy named Hugo. Who's the best? The guide, or he's a guide. Okay, and uh, I, won't, I miss him so much. <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional. Um, you know, you meet people in life, no matter what country you're on, and you just kind of go, "Yeah, if we lived in the same town, that dude would be my friend or somebody mm-hmm. that I would really know." You know, he he's also the mayor of Tulum. I mean, everywhere we went, pe- like cab drivers. Street walkers, people would just come up, hey, what's up? And he would like, they would hug him or he was a handshake. Guide. He, ah. he was the best, this guy. Yeah. You know, I got a really nice message from someone today. I'm going to get real. How about this, Bobby? I'm listening to you. Okay. <laughs> That's why I close my eyes. I'm listening. Go ahead. I got a very nice message today on Instagram uh, Messenger, right? Mm-hmm. From a young man who said he'd been living, uh, listening to the show from the age of 13. Now he's 19 years old. And he said, uh, it's really shaped my sense of humor, blah, blah, blah. He said a lot of really nice things. And he was really, I, I wrote him back. You know, you try to write Aww. these people back when they say something, when they just, you know, when they share that, hey, you've done this thing and I, I've listened to it and here's how it's affected me. I think a small percentage of people are obviously reaching out. So it's important to go to, you know, thank the guy for doing caring and for reaching out. And he was very well spoken and he said, he said nice things and I don't want to, you know, but I told you I was getting serious. And he goes, uh, I think you can probably pick up listening to the show. All right, here's the truth. I feel like I have no idea what my, I feel like I have no idea. And maybe we've sort of talked about this because I don't do stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How I don't ever get to the point. No. Um, I feel like I have no idea what the value is out there for some of the dumb things that I do. Cause mm. this guy mm. was definitely, is definitely picking up on the, on the podcast that I'm very, you know, I'm playing around, but I'm definitely like, ah, fuck it. You know, whatever. Here goes the podcast. It's gone. And here's a dumb wrestling joke and blah, blah, blah. And the diamonding this and that. And we want less <laughs> listeners and all this shit. <laughs> and those who are left, you guys are our diamonds. You're the ones who get every fucking joke. We value you more as you, as your, you know, compatriots fall off the side. Uh, this guy picked up on that and was like, hey, you know, this, whatever, the nice things he said. And he goes, that's something to be proud of, Will. Yeah. I don't think pride has any uh, place in comedy or uh, entertainment. I think, it's a, I think it's a poison, right? Yeah. Don't you think? Uh, I, you, 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 you even saying it, you even saying it, you saying what you just said yeah. struck a chord with me just now. Yeah? Yeah, I've never really thought of it that way, but you are correct. Pride has no place in it. Don't pretend to cry. I'm not. Fuck That's you. That's actually how you sound when you yeah, cry. Yeah, you've seen me cry. You do the broken voice like that? <laughs> yeah. Wow, all right. Um, so I Grandpa, do feel Grandpa, like... Grandpa, don't touch me there. So I do <laughs> feel like... the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't... Was your grandpa's name Bob? No. Is that why you're only Bob when you're serious? No, I don't know his name. All Fuck right. him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> Can I say this? Yeah. Everybody that's ever been on the show have said to me that your fans, the Tiger Belly fans, are the most fran- f- f- fanatic, fanatic yeah. and loyal. You're the greatest. You guys are the greatest people. I'm so proud that you were a part of each other. Mm-hmm. I love you guys so fucking much. Thank you so much for listening. Hey, Tiger Belly crew, I live with my parents. I'm a tall Asian young guy fresh out of high school. I'm still a virgin in 19, and I want to lose it. I just ha, don't loser. Know how. <laughs> I want to lose her. <laughs> I, kill come yourself. On. Hey, hey, kill man. Yourself. Hey, man, I'm tall. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, 
I'm tall. Well, that doesn't help. Not you ex- fucking, fucking piece of shit. Not extremely, yeah. not extremely <laughs> handsome. <laughs> but I'm really handsome. Oh wow. I'm, wait. You're gonna choke. Be careful. I'm tall, not extremely handsome, but I'm really handsome. I've been told I look like Daniel Henney. I know Ooh. for a fact I can get girls, no questions, but I have no car, and no girl wants to date a loser with no car. What am I supposed to do? Bike to her house? <laughs> Lame. My dad is too lazy to teach me how There's a lot of parentheses here. Hold on. My dad is too lazy to teach me how to drive, so getting my driving license is slow. 